Hello students, welcome back to the series. And in this series, we were discussing about the uh, NEET 2022 question paper. And in this question paper, we were discussing for the chemistry session. And along with the chemistry session, what we are doing here, we are actually um, not just revising the questions, not just solving them. Along with that, we are also revising their concepts and learning about how we can solve such kind of questions here. So let's see, uh, in the chemistry portion, we have already done the uh, some of the questions. And we were discussing the paper R1 code. So this is the next question for the paper. That is question number 70, portion chemistry. And we have the question that is related to the uh, atomic structure from the 11th standard. Now let's see in this, first of all, what they're asking you in this question, they were asking you about the incorrect statement. Always mark the word incorrect because they're not asking you about the true statement. They're asking about which statement is actually false. So now let's see the question number uh, 70 and the point one for that. Uh, in this case, they have asked you about the shapes of uh, dz, dxy, dyz, dzx orbitals are similar to each other. That is absolutely correct. And for you, I have already uploaded the photos of the d orbital. So you can see here the dyz, the dxz and the dxy they are basically how they are. They are basically in between the planes. So if I talk about the X, Y, Z axis, so what they have, they are in between the lobes are they are present. So in this case, they all three have the same image or the same shape. That is because of azimuthal quantum number. Now the next point is what they're saying. And the dx square, y square and dz square are similar to each other. That is false. This portion is turned out to be false. Why? Because the dz square is a very special case. And in that case, what do we have? We have the structure like a p orbital having two lobes up and down. And there is a ring around that lobe. And that ring is also where the probability of finding electron is not equals to zero. So in that case, what we can say, the shape of dz square and dx square y square is not same. So the first statement is false. If I go and uh, observe the portions number uh, two, three, and four, let's see whether they are correct or not. So my correct answer for this will be first one. Now let's see the second option. All the 5D orbitals are in different size when compared with respect to 4D orbitals. That is absolutely true. See, according to the principal quantum number, that is basically representing these words. That is your 5D and 4D. So what the principal quantum number is explaining here, the principal quantum number is explaining that they are moving in the next shell. And as they are moving in these shells, what happens? Their size is increasing. As we all know, according to the Bohr's radius, if I'll talk about it, radius is directly proportional to the your principal quantum number. Principal quantum number, which is actually represented by n. So as the number of n or the as the value of n or as the prin principal quantum number is increasing, what will happen? The sizes increases. So what I can say that 3D has a smaller size in comparison to 4D, in comparison to 5D and so on. Now let's see what the point number three is saying. All the uh, five 4D orbitals have similar shape to respective to the 3D orbital. That is absolutely true. That is also true. Why? Because what happens that the shape is actually dependent upon the second quantum number that is your azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number. Quantum number. That is represented by small l. And for d orbital, the small l is basically represented by uh, the number 2. So in that case, what happens that the d orbital, whether it is in the first quantum, uh, whether, it will, uh, whether it is present in the uh, first principal quantum number or second principal quantum number or third principal quantum number, 
they will be having the same shape. Although the D orbital starts with the third one because the L because of the NL values. So what happens for N is equals to three, the value of L can lie from zero, one, and two. And what is zero representing? Zero represent S, one represents P, and two represents the D. So by default, we have first time 3D orbital. So for the third quantum number, you have 3D orbital, you can have 4D orbital, or you can have 5D orbital, all they have the same ships because their azimuthal quantum number is same. Now let's see the point number four. In an atom, all the five 3D orbitals are equal in energy in free state. That is also true. And that is given by magnetic spin quantum number represented by symbol ML. And its value lies from minus L to plus L. So for D orbital, I can say it is minus two, minus one, zero, one, and two. And what this represent? This represents the degenerate orbitals. Degenerate orbitals means the orbitals which have the same energy. So by default in an atom, all three, five, all the five 3D orbitals will be having the same energy. So this is also true. I hope you're able to understand the concept and thank you for watching till the end and keep on watching and keep on watching for the more questions.